have home gardeners throughout the state that really cherish their onions and learning how to grow a very successful onion crop can be somewhat challenging. But with those challenges, we can also run into those wonderful rots and spots. And one of the main problems that we run into is a disease called purple blotch. It's a fungal disease. It's an alternaria species, very common to see when we have frequent rains or high humidities or fog associated with, um, with early season production. Purple blotch is called purple blotch because if you look at it, sometimes you have to be creative, but the blotches it forms is actually purple in coloration. So when you first start seeing anything developing on the leaf itself, it's a white little flecky spot. And as you give it about, oh, four to five days, that, that spot will continue to grow and expand. It will be sunken in, turn that purple color, and we're gonna get concentric rings, the very similar to what we see in early blight in potatoes and tomatoes. That is the spore production. And it's gonna to continue to develop, and you can actually see that whole onion leaf wilt and die. And so we can have early uh, maturity of our onions than what we were really looking for because the onions aren't fully mature. Now there is a second stage of this disease. Besides the leaf blight, it can also cause a neck rot. So if there's any damage to the neck throughout the development, the fungus can actually grow down into the neck, affect the bulb. Now where it actually affects on the bulb depends on the leaf that's infected because every leaf equals to one scale of the onion. So it goes down a particular scale. You can pick your harvest your onions, put them into storage, and this winter you go to harvest them or pull them out to use them and the onion may look just fine on the outside until you cut it open and then it can be brown, soft, mushy, and there's usually an odor associated with it. And that's very common to see, but you can also see it on the outside scales of that onion bulb too, depending on where that infection occurs. So how do we manage it? A lot of times we're gonna to try to avoid overhead irrigation like we do with most fungal diseases in our home garden. Otherwise, sanitation is the huge thing. If you are a farmer's market grower, most likely you're gonna be using a copper type product to spray over the top. And then to prevent this, the a neck rot and the bulb rot, you wanna make sure you don't damage the bulbs during harvest and also making sure you're cutting off the leaves and allowing the onions to dry and mature correctly before you go into long-term storage. With a few of those steps, you should limit the amount of damage that you have with purple blotch and be able to store those onions throughout the winter months.